In this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually optimize your Amazon FBA listing with the help of a free tool called Brand Analytics. So basically, this is a free tool provided by Amazon because as you all know that an online business conversion rate is the key because it is something that defines the visit to purchase ratio of your customer. For example, if 100 people visit your shop and 10 people purchase from it, that means your conversion rate is 10%. And if 100 people visit and 5 people purchase, that means it is 5%. So more the conversion rate of your Amazon listing will be, more sales you will get and Amazon algorithm will give more ranking to your listing. So believe me, right after watching this video, you will be amazed like how we can use this powerful tool just for free to get more and more sales. Because with the help of this free tool, we can just analyze the listing of those competitors who are actually having good sales. So if they are getting good sales daily, that means the strategy they are using is 100% workable and proven strategy. So why not copy their strategy to get sales? Because I have seen many sellers like they do a lot of hard work. They put too much of their brain into thinking how can they get sales. But I don't think so putting too much brain is a good idea. Where you are having the data and analytics of all those competitors who are actually getting good sales. So if you copy their strategy, you can actually get good sales without putting too much of your brain. So let's see how we can do this. So as you can see that this is my one week sales. And if I put the filter for past one year and click on apply, so you can see that this is my one year sales. You can see that throughout the year, I got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in December, which was Christmas season. So around 150K was the revenue. And the cool thing about this is that the PPC spend was very less for the lifetime. So basically I don't do any magic. I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks, which I've already explained you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips, tricks and strategies, you can just go on my Amazon the playlist on YouTube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on Amazon Seller Center right now. So to navigate to this brand analytics tool, you just need to go on this bar and from here, go on brands and click on brand analytics. And after clicking on that, you can see many options here on top. But for now, we're going to be use this Amazon search term. But later, you can just explore all of these options as well because they are super good. So now just click on Amazon search term. And by clicking here, Amazon will take you on this screen. So it's basically brand analytics Amazon search term. So now let's see how we can use this tool to actually optimize our listing. So for example, if your product is bamboo cutting board. So just type the main keyword of your product here. Bamboo cutting board. And then change this from weekly to monthly and click on apply. So by doing this, you are actually giving the main keyword to Amazon. So Amazon can show you all of those other keywords as well, which people are actually searching, which are purchasing your product. And in addition to that, Amazon will show you your top competitor. Like for each and every keyword, there are main three competitors, like number one, number two, and number three, which are best performing. So for example, you can see that here we are having the keywords. Like number one keyword is bamboo cutting board. And number two is bamboo cutting board set bamboo cutting board with container and here you can see that this is sfr which is search frequency rank like what is the frequency of searches for this particular keyword on amazon so you can see that this is 16,000, this is 122,000. so that means the lower this number is the more powerful your keyword is and if we just move forward so you can see that this is number one competitor and this is number two competitor and this is number three competitor so here we can see that, for example, we take this first keyword like bamboo cutting board. Here we can see the SFR for this keyword and here we can see the number one competitor who is ranking and performing best on this keyword bamboo cutting board. So here you can find the ASIN of this competitor, the title, the click percentage and conversion percentage. So these two values are too much important for you because this click percentage defines that how many people search this keyword on Amazon and click on this listing. So it's basically 5.65. That means if 100 people search that bamboo cutting board, that means if 100 people search bamboo cutting board on Amazon, so out of those 100, 5.6% people click on this listing, which is, and for all of those people who are actually clicking on that listing, out of that, 5.93% actually purchase. So now at this point, Amazon is showing this value for top three competitor. For example, this was the competitor number one. And if you go further forward, you can see competitor number two. So here is the title, here is the ASIN, and here is the click to conversion ratio, which is 5.65 and 5.93. And if you go further forward, we can see the third competitor. Here is the title, ASIN, and click and conversion. So as you can see here for this keyword, the conversion and click is bad for this competitor, like 4.24 and 4.64. However, for this competitor, it is 5.65 and 5.93. So let's open these both competitor one by one. So this is the bad one, go to Amazon product page, and then this is the good one, go to Amazon page. So here you can see that this is a good one and this is a bad one. So let's start analyzing both and compare both, like why this one is performing good and why the other is performing bad. 
like we will analyze the images, the title, the reviews, the price and the bullet point. So here you need to analyze these two listings as a buyer. For example, you are a buyer and you want bamboo cutting board and you type that keyword and you open both of these listings. So to be honest, you need to analyze like for which listing you will purchase and what will be the factor from which you go with this listing. So let's first see the reviews. So the review for this listing is 4.5 thousand and here the review are and here the reviews are 16 thousand. So you can see that this listing is having more reviews, but still the other one is performing better. So now let's see why. Now comes the pricing. The pricing for this is 14.99 and the pricing for this is 15.18. And this one is selling only one piece and this one is selling three piece. And when you see the size like 11 by 0 0.7 by 13 and here 15 by 10 by 0 0.8. So like the size is almost same, not the exact same, but it's almost same. So the size is same, but it's selling pack of one for the same price. And that is selling pack of three for the same price. And this one is having less review and this one is having higher review. So still this listing is performing good because the listing images and bullet point and description might be good. So let's see one by one. So now we can check the listing images. Here you can see that in these images, these images are super attractive and the colors are good and they are actually explaining all of the feature of this product in images like 100% like natural organic bamboo and if you go forward, they are saying that knife friendly surface, practical design you need, versatile for cutting or slicing. So as you can see that all of the images are HD images and they are basically following the same green theme with the same text and in each and every image they are basically explaining their feature like one of their feature. So by checking all of these images I can completely understand the feature of this product like if I purchase this product what feature I get. So let's go down and check the bullet point like all of the bullet point are very great. They are actually telling the size, the material, the feature and everything in the bullet point. And if you go further down and check the description. So in that, so here you can see that this is the EBC content and description is also very good. And they are following the same text and same green color theme. And basically it's a reader friendly description. Like if I go down and read the description, I can actually see the design. I can actually see the feature and I can actually see and I can actually understand everything about this product. Like what's the material, is safe or not. So this listing is very good in terms of uh, listing optimization. So maybe that's why this listing is getting more conversion than the second one. So now let's go on to the second one. So here it is. So let's see the images one by one. So this is the main image and this is the second image, third image, fourth image. So you can see that if we compare the images of this listing from the other one, so the other one was good because they were following the same pattern, same color theme, same text. And on every images, they are actually explaining a feature. But you can see that here they are explaining no feature. They are just showing the they are just showing the bamboo cutting board and not explaining anything. So that means if we compare the images with that listing, so that listing images were far better than this one. So now let's move on to the bullet point. So here we can see that the bullet point are also not very detailed. You can see that if we see the bullet point here, you can see they are detailed bullet point like they are using SEO optimized keyword. They are using some detailed information about the inside of the product like what is the size, what is the material and how you can use it. But for these bullet point, they are not explaining very deeply. So now further to go down for the product description and here you can see that the description is good but you can see that they are only using four banners nothing else. You can see this is number one banner with a picture and a logo and in second banner they are basically showing the uh, three bamboo cutting board and in the third banner they are using the same image as top. So same goes for a description if we compare with this one you can see this is far better than that one. You can see they are using proper text in paragraph form they are explaining each and every detail here like about material, about sizes, about design, about each and everything. So this is the reason why this listing is getting more conversion than that one because they are answering all of the question of the buyer in their content. Like when buyers see their listing and the second listing, so buyer can convince to purchase from that listing because all of those questions which can come into the buyer's mind, they are actually answering that question in their content. So without asking, the buyer can actually get the answer of their question from their content so they can purchase from there. So that's why I always tell you that in online business, the more information you give to your buyer about your product, the more chances of conversion you will get. Because by reading your title, bullet point, description and images, the buyer can feel that you are a professional seller and you are having complete knowledge about your product which you are selling. So now comes the question is how you can use this information to optimize your listing. So as you can see here, this is the example of only two listing and after analyzing these two listing, 
you can know that why they are performing difference. So by using this, so at this point, you can just take this listing as your reference point and try to make your listing as similar to it. Like don't copy exactly, but try to give them more information about your product to the buyer in terms of listing. Like try to optimize your images in such a way that you can just explain all of those features of your product in your images and try to make your product description attractive and reader friendly. So if you do so, you can also get more conversion than other competitor, no matter that seller is a senior seller or having too much reviews. So by following this method and using this tool, you can actually optimize your listing and get more conversion and more sales. So that's it for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.